Hey, it's Cecilia. Welcome to Fuck Clutter Wednesdays. It's my birthday today, and as a present to myself, I painted this wall in my new apartment. <laughs> That's what I did this morning. Um, and I was so good with my perfectionist because I just painted the one wall instead of all four because that's what I had time for and that's what I had energy for. So today I want to talk to you about the difference between approaching your clutter from the victim standpoint and from the predator standpoint. So I'm in a new place, I moved in a few days ago and I've had a lot of emotional ups and downs about this place. Um, it needs a ton of work, it's um, it has good bones, but it's we're not moving into a place that is like ready to go. And so I've been a little bit of volatile emotionally in this process. And it's like each time we discover something that's not perfect, I kind of lose it. And so one of the things that I noticed was that the bathroom window didn't open. And I had a mini freak out about this and was feeling... You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, you want your bathroom window to be able to open, um, but I could see that I was really approaching it from this place of kind of despair. Oh no, my bathroom window won't open. And it, I get it, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, but to my perfectionist, it was. But it was really interesting because, so I had, I had had a mini freak out about the bathroom window and we moved in here and I woke up in the morning and I had a very clear vision of how to fix the window. And I was on my way out, I had my jacket on and I just walked over to the window with a, with a thingy that I had bought, a thingy, you know, a thingy, <laughs> a flat thingy and a hammer and with the help of my partner, I got that fucking window open. And it really highlighted to me the difference between this approach, approaching our space and our stuff from the, the standpoint of the victim um, to the standpoint of the predator. So when I first saw the window, I was really coming at it from the victim, like, oh great, I'm gonna have a bathroom where the window doesn't open. And when I approached it from the standpoint of the predator, so the predator knows what it wants, it knows what it needs to do, and it gets it done. Within five minutes, the window that could never open was open. And I think the symbolism of that is not lost on me. Um, and so there's an invitation when you approach your clutter clearing to do it from the standpoint of the predator because we, we tend to feel like a victim to our clutter. It's like something that's happening to us. You know, who got all this stuff? Who, who messed this place up? Who did this? Um, and when we, we approach our clutter from the standpoint of the victim, it's really hard to move. It's really hard to get going. It's really hard to make things happen. Whereas if you approach it from the standpoint of the predator, so you think about a predator, a lion, they know what they want and they get it. And so that is the energy that you need to be using to approach your clutter clearing because that's the energy that you can use to actually get shit done. So go forth, fuck the shit out of some clutter, bring your, bring your power, bring your bigness, bring your predator and get it done. See you next week. Bye.